In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google's engine for GitHub Actions. In the last video, I show you how to add some functionality to uh, the Python package so that you can use Google's engine. But uh, if you look at my GitHub uh, repository, uh, the Geo demo GitHub repository, so after I edit those functions and uh, push the changes to GitHub, uh, there's uh, some of the tracks actually were not successful. So if you look at this in here, the build uh, was successful. That means user will be able to install the package, but the documentation failed to build. Uh, so if you click the documentation website, uh, the notebook that we added to the website won't show up in here. For example, the module and also the notebook, right? We added the Earth Engine examples notebook, but it doesn't come up because the documentation failed to build. If it fails, then uh, your website won't be updated. And so if you click here, the um the uh, the uh, 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 red cross mark and then you uh click details then you will be able to find out for example why this uh fail and if you scroll up here to take a look at the error message so when it's basically deploying uh, the web page it's going to run all the notebooks uh, the reason for this is because we set up all the notebook to be executed when we uh deploy the the website if you go to, for example, open the Visual Studio Code and then open your project, look at the mkdocs.yml, and if you scroll up, you see here the plugin. We use the plugin mkdocs Jupyter. So we set this one execute equal to two, and so if it is set to two, then it means all the uh, notebooks, for example, listed here, this notebook that we listed here, and they are going to be executed. So because we added early in the past, we added those functions or those notebooks that don't require authentication. But Google's engine, you need to authenticate. So, and when they're trying to execute the code, if you if it is not authorized, then it's going to fail, and that's the reason. So one thing you can do is to change the execute from true to false. Then uh, you just commit the changes, and then it should run successfully, right? So, uh, but. If you indeed you want to to be no those notebook to be executed, what's the difference between execute and non execute? So if you go to the documentation website, if you click any notebooks, if this execute, you'll be able to see this one here, the um the number. So it's a square brackets within there. If you see the number, that means those notebook will execute. Uh, because whenever a, a sale or code block uh, is executed, it's going to put a unique number. So it's just in sequence. If it is not executed, for example, if you look at my other uh, repository, GMAP, and look at the notebooks, if you click any of those, if you don't set the execute to true, it won't be executed. Uh, so it takes uh, much less time actually to build the website. Uh, and sometimes if you want to execute, it's good to execute because you can figure out if it, some of the notebook fails, that means uh, you, you can figure out what's the problem. So that's also a good way to do the testing. But when you have too many notebooks, it might take a long time. So here I almost have more than 70 and almost 100 notebooks. Uh, it's going to take a while to actually execute all the uh, notebooks, especially if some of those are, are very computationally intensive. Uh, so that's the reason that I don't set this to uh, two. But I'm showing here, uh, if you want to uh, execute the notebook, then you need to authenticate Google's engine, right? So. Uh, because it fails to execute this one. The reason is that uh, we have the function here uh, under the where the package and then the common. So from here, we, we, we run this one, e uh, underscore initialize. And so when you don't have a credential on that, um, the, the, the GitHub actions is going to fail. We can run this one successfully on our local computer because we have the credential. Uh, so. Uh, the credential is located under um, user if they're using windows it's under users uh, and then your user uh, directory if they're using mac or linux uh, it's the same so under the user directory uh, doc config and then earth engine then from here this is the credential github actions they don't uh, it does not have this one by default and that's the reason that we set up this function if it doesn't have this file uh, we're going to create this one so but we need to actually create an environment variable uh, so the token name uh, it can be earth engine token or can be anything else but you just need to pass in this one so next i'm going to show you how we can create a token on uh, github repository so that you we can authenticate this one 
And so if we have an environment variable, and we can get the value for this environment variable, and then we can use that to create the file, create this config file so that when Earth Engine is executing the source code, you will be able to find this one and then authenticate uh, your source code. Okay, so next, let's head over to the GitHub repository, whatever repository uh, you are working on, then click settings. On the left here, scroll down to the uh, lower left corner, click this one, secrets. And the secret is where we can add environment uh, variables. Then you can upper right corner here, click new repository uh, secrets. And this is where you choose the name for your uh, secrets. We're going to use the same one that we use here in the source code, but uh, you can change if you want. So we're just going to copy this one, control C, and then come back to here, control V. Next, we, go, we need to pass in the value. And keep that in mind, uh, I'm going to do it in here. So this is the, uh, you can open this one using, uh, using Notepad. So it's basically uh, this file here, right? You can open this one using a Notepad or any uh, 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 text editor. Once it's open, then what you need to do is copy anything within the um, double quotes. So what you need to do is to copy this entire string and then copy. After that, come back to here, paste, then X secrets. That's it. So we are done uh, because and then later when GitHub Action is uh, deploying the document, it's going to retrieve these environment variables and to create a file within the virtual machine. Uh, keep in mind, uh, Linux, this is the Linux um, uh, virtual machine. It's going to create the file. Then you'll be able to authenticate. OK, so next, uh, let's go back to the GitHub Actions again. And then click the docs and edit GE, right? So this one failed, uh, but right now, because we already add the secrets, then we can go here, real one, uh, all our jobs. So if you run that, and so this time it, it, uh, it should uh, 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 pass all the tracks successfully. It might take some time to run, but you will see if you go back to the uh, repo, we click this one. Those are if it's already successful, it won't run again, so it's only running on this one. So let's take a look at this one here install all the dependencies. And so, what we want is that uh, we want it to pass all the uh, test so that you can automatically authenticate. And it might take a couple minutes uh, because, it, especially when it's executing the Jupyter notebooks, uh, it takes time. Uh, if it's using Google's engine, uh, keep it in mind if it's very computational uh, intensive, it's going to take a while. But since we are only using a quick example, uh, it won't take very long. Okay, so you see here right now it passed all the tracks and we should be, uh, I think we should be good. Uh, almost there. Okay, uh, looks like it has passed all the tracks. And so this probably, oops, still not. Uh, let me take a look here. EE initialize on error or core. It looks like the um, documentation still failed to build. And if you look at the error message, it's still the same. So that means we are still missing something. and. So next thing I'm going to show you how to fix that. Uh, it might look a bit complicated, but once you get it to set up correctly, uh, you just need to do that once. So in the future, you, things will be automated. And so next, thing I'm going to show you how we can fix this. Uh, you can go to my GMAP uh, repository. So this one here, uh, there's a doc GitHub uh, folder directory. And under this one, you have the workflow and also have this EE token. So this one essentially is the same, uh, but the reason that uh, the notebook failed to execute because uh, it's not uh, generating the file that we needed for authentication. So, but we can actually deploy the, uh, the create this one when the virtual machine uh, is being built rather than wait until the notebook is being executed. So first you can come here and then uh, just click the lower button and we're just going to download this one uh, so that we can use that with our um, uh, repository. 
So GEO demo and then go to Donkey Cup. We can just save this one here. So this is the uh, Python script is going to be executed when uh, GitHub Action is running. The next one that we need is to actually run this script. Okay, although you put that one into the GitHub folder, doesn't mean that it's going to be executed. So the next one here, you can take a look at the workflow docs YML. From here, you should be able to see a section called loading EE credentials, and it's going to run this one, run this credential, create the uh, uh, credential so that uh, the GitHub, the Jupyter notebook can use this one. So what you need to do, uh, you can just select this a few lines of code and then copy, come back to Visual Studio Code, and then you can open the uh, docs doc YML under workflow. And from here, right, you have multiple sections. For example, the name, each one is basically one section. So just put your cursor at the end, hit enter, and then um, paste these three lines of code that we copy from here. And essentially, when uh, the Google uh, the documentation is being built, it's going to run this first. And if this one is being executed, it will automatically create a credential. And then once we deploy, uh, it should work successfully. So after we uh, save all the uh, edits, then we can go to the GitHub uh, actions. Uh, from here, we can just maybe edit uh, EE uh, token. Then control enter. Okay. And then push the changes. So hopefully this time uh, it will work uh, as expected. You can come back to the website and then uh, go to the repository. Take a look at this one. And we this time we just need to wait. Uh, it might take a couple of uh, seconds. We'll come back uh, take, to, to take a look. Okay, so all the uh, checks have been, uh, been have passed uh, successfully. So you can, right now you can see the uh, the check, green check marks here, and the docs documentation website uh, has also passed the checks. And so next, let's click this uh, website, and then we just take a look. You might need to refresh. Sometimes it might take a while. Okay, so it's here now. Uh, Earth engine intro. If you see here the uh, the numbers, that means uh, this notebook has been executed successfully although you won't be able to see the result uh, because of the uh, ipi uh, leaflet and ipi widget uh, it doesn't show up uh, on the uh, notebook uh, results in here you can also click the api documentation uh, we added the common uh, module click this one you should be able to see the uh, the source code uh, so this is how you can uh, deploy the website and set up google sending so that it can be authenticated on Google uh, on GitHub Actions uh, in that way you don't have to uh, do that um, you don't you don't have to do that manually um, otherwise you, you won't be able to execute the source code uh, so make sure that you add uh, your uh, environment variable to here and then copy your token and so that but this is just for your uh, use only don't share your token with uh, anyone uh, else otherwise they will be able to access your Google Engine account so uh, just be uh, aware okay so uh, that's all for this uh, video i will see you in the next one take care bye bye